Hello and welcome back to Castle Farms Homestead. As you can see, we're back on the barn. A day later than expected, thanks to the lovely spring weather raining on us yesterday and well, you snowing on town. us at the ranch. We went out to the, out to the ranch with Bobby and, and yeah, it snowed on us out there. Pretty good snowstorm too. Well, we're just back at the working on the, the barn. We got a little bit left on it. Yeah, the plan today is to finish taking off uh, this little bit up here that we haven't got yet and then dismantling the rafters that are up there, the supports, and then getting on the platform uh, that's uh, the loft area. So that's the goal today. Now, you can see that there's some pretty big nuts and bolts holding these pieces together. And uh, I was a little concerned because you can see they're rusted and everything. I was thinking, oh man, it's gonna be a good workout, busting all these loose, cranking them off and everything. Especially since we don't have any penetrating oil like that. But it turns out these things, oh, I gotta hold on to the other side. Anyway, they're coming off pretty easily actually. I checked these ones over here first. This one I was able to just unscrew by hand. So, shouldn't be too bad getting these off. Thank goodness. So initially we thought that it was just these big bolts holding these beams on. Uh, but they are indeed nailed in quite a bit. And with that nailing, plus into these extra supports here and everything, uh, it's gonna be a huge pain to try to just pry these off. So instead, we're just gonna go through, give us a little space so that we can grab our uh, Sawzall with the metal blade on it and just cut through those nails. It'll be way quicker that way then hopefully we'll be able to just pick those babies up and take them off. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. So, sometimes things work out for us. Sometimes. We love that Sawzall. <laughs> Did it get hit the very end one? It got too? all of them. That is so nice. <laughs> Hot knife through butter. That's so sweet. Ooh. I love it. Let's get the other side. Maybe some of those are a little further away. I think I'll just... issue is that we don't have our longer metal blade so it's kind of the medium sized metal blade and uh, so it's not reaching all the way across but should be able to get it from the inside as long as we're okay bending the blade you can bend it a bit yeah Now, presumably, we're just lifting this off. I can imagine that it could kind of get caught with the nails, the, any bits of the nails that are sticking out a little bit. So, but we'll see how it goes. I think if we, 
think try to get one side off first. You want to think overhead? Do it both at the same step, time and set it down. Let's go for it. Let's give it a shot. I'm what? not. I'm not totally Two, optimistic. Oh, three. I just got stuck in the back of the nail. <gasps> Come on, push. It's Damn. Use your muscles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come grab this side. I'll push that one. <laughs> He's got to show me up. I uh, better not get stuck now. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's yeah I know. There's a nail there. Uh, there. There. All over. Try to direct this better. That was it. Brady was fighting against me. He had it directed the wrong way. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> One down. Easy peasy. Yeah, not bad. All right. Let's get the other one. Same thing again. I worked hard to get this light. It was on the outside of the, the barn in that area here. Worked hard to get it, and that rafter got dropped directly on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just crunched it. Yeah. I, I was a bit sad. So I, I like the light, although I don't think we probably would have used it because it's not LED. And we will probably only use LED lights out there, so. But somebody might have wanted it, but not yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's crushed. <laughs> I worked hard for that. <laughs> Getting a, a little less secure as more and more of it goes. Uh-huh. Anything else we need to take down before we start with the decking? I don't think so. I'm interested in what your plan for the decking is. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Thought of trying the sledgehammer from underneath, give it whacking it, see if we can pop it up. That'd be a nasty job underneath. Uh-huh. Being the one <laughs> my job. <laughs> There's a little strip of plywood. There's a little strip of plywood on the other side of that. Let's see you do it again. <laughs> you said 100 of them. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> 101. All right. Next thing to do is attack these rafters, I guess they'd be called. Got four of those big rafters, like these. That's the next thing to come down. It's a new day and we're still on the barn. Yeehaw. Today is gonna to be a pretty quick one out here. We're just gonna to try to take down the remainder of the stuff on the walls 
and the stalls and then the floor joists before we load up the trailer. Oh, moving the camera around a little. <laughs> Earthquake! <laughs> before we load up the trailer and uh, take stuff out to the homestead because we cannot take all this in one load. Yeah, it'll be too heavy. So if we can get, uh, get a good load on it today, get it down to the ranch and be back up here tonight, then we can get on it again tomorrow finish everything up, load it up, and take it down to the ranch tomorrow. Because after that, we've got to take our daughter to California. She's moving to California. So uh, we got to get this thing done. But we better get on then. Brady, show them what's exciting about you. Nothing. <laughs> Certainly, it's not exciting. <laughs> not exciting. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a rash going on. All over his arms and Mostly on my arms. That was a quick. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not showing up too well on camera. Yeah. But Good thing. Otherwise, you'd be going. Oh. Yeah. It's, it is a little gross. Uh, but it itches. Yeah. Especially where my shirt touches it. Yeah. But, but he's going to be a man. Ignore it. Get to work. So, well, Listen, I brought itch cream for it. So. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. Now, folks. You might not be able to see it in this clip here, but Clint falls off a ladder. That's right. A ladder that is lying flat on the ground. Clint stands on, shifts his weight to run side, rocks it, and falls off of. Not only that, but he damages his rotator cuff. You'll see here that when he helps load things into the trailer, he's only using his left arm because he fell six inches and hurt his shoulder. Luckily, you know, as time has passed, he's been able to recover and everything. It wasn't a bad fall. But that, uh, la that extension ladder lying on the ground there, he stood on it, straddling it to help get some of the um, beams down, shifts his weight to one side, it tips, he loses his balance, falls on the ground, injures his rotator cuff. Don't trip on the ladder. <laughs> you practice squatting too. So I told Brady to go ahead and just cut these off at the base and I'll be fine. But he decided he wants to just, he's pulled several of them out. <laughs> these taller ones, he already did one where he just pushed it over. It's because he thinks he's Sam, was it Samson? Yep. <laughs> he thinks he's Samson. I'm not sure it's faster, but might be funner. <laughs> that one was definitely faster. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. This one, we might just cut. Oh, it's going. It's going. All right, folks, thanks for joining <laughs> us on this adventure of Castle Farms Homestead. Um, we appreciate you watching us get one step closer towards our goals as we gather more materials and everything for future structures out at the homestead. And uh, if you liked the video, like the video. Leave us a comment telling us what steps you're taking, what step you're going to take to get one, one step closer to your goals. And we'll see you next time on Castle Farms Homestead.